Today, we are going to study about electronic configuration. Orbitals. Orbitals are region in space outside the nucleus where there is probability of finding an electron. Each orbital can hold maximum two electrons. Subshells are smaller division of electron shell separated by electron orbitals. In grade 9 or grade 10, you studied about electron arrangement in atom, where we arrange the electrons in shells or orbit. Here we are going to arrange electrons in subshells. So subshells are smaller division of electron shell separated by electron orbitals. They are S, P, D and F subshells in an electron configuration. Sharp S subshell can hold maximum two electrons. Principal or P subshells can hold maximum six electrons. Diffuse or D subshells can hold maximum 10 electrons. Fundamental or F subshells can hold maximum 14 electrons. Order of filling of subshells. This is important to understand because the whole lesson on electronic configuration depends on the order of filling of subshell. That is the order of electrons filling of in the subshell. So if you look at this diagram, you'll see 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s, and 7s. Then you'll see 2p, 3p, 4p, 5p, 6p, 7p, then 3d, 4d, 5d, 6d, and 4f and 5f. Now, the order of filling of subshell will be according to what I am drawing. So you can just make a line like this, telling us the order of filling of electron. First, 1s subshell will be filled, then followed by 2s, next 2p, then 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, 4p, and 5s, then 4d, 5p, 6s, and then 4f, 5d, 6p, 7s, and 5f, 6d, 7p. So this is the order how the electrons will be filled in the subshell. 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, 4p, 6s, 5, 5s, 4d, 5p, 6s, 4f, 5d, 6p, 7s, 5f, 6d, 7p. Now again, s can hold maximum two electrons, p can hold maximum six electrons, d can hold maximum 10 electrons, and f subshell can hold maximum 14 electrons. Once again, the order of filling of subshells will be 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, 4p, 5s, 4d, 5p, 6s, 4f, 5d, 6p, 7s, 5f, 6d, and 7p. Now, the order, as we keep on uh, using the order or trying uh, try to fill up the electron subshell, we will learn the order it will stay in our mind. So first few times it may be a little difficult, but gradually as we keep on completing, keep on doing or keep on practicing how to uh, fill the electrons in the subshell or the electronic configuration of the elements in different subshells, then it will stay in our mind. So just for an example, the first one, 
uh, let's do uh, an element like sodium now sodium has an atomic number 11 therefore it has 11 proton so the order of filling of subshell will be first 1s2 why we are writing 2 because 2 electrons over there and 1s from here next comes 2s2 this is again four electrons now then comes 2p6 so 6 7 8 9 10 then 3s1 so all together we have 2 plus 2 4 plus 6 10 and 1 11 all together we have 11 electrons so this is how we fill the subshells according to the electrons that is present so sodium having an electron uh, atomic number 11 that means it has 11 electrons it has 11 protons and this is how we fill up the electronic configuration of sodium let us do the first 30 elements one by one so your doubts will become clearer and as you practice you'll become more perfect let's take the first element that is hydrogen hydrogen has only one atomic number one proton and one electron so we can just write it as 1s1 on the top one showing us one electron helium will be 1s2 because it has two electrons lithium 1s2 and then we come to the next that is 2s1 so all together 2 and 1 3 beryllium 1s2 and 2s2 so that is 4 boron has an atomic number of 5 so 1s2 then 2s2 and after 2s2 2p1 so that is 2 plus 2 4 and 1 5 carbon 1s2 2s2 and then 2p2 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 nitrogen is 7 so 1s2 2s2 and 2p3 so 3 4 5 6 7 next comes oxygen 1s2 2s2 2p4 we can take six electron accommodate six electrons so four yeah so it's four five six seven eight fluorine is nine so 1s2 2s2 2p5 next comes neon neon is a noble gas so let's write it down 1s2 2s2 then 2p6 so 6 7 8 9 10 it has a complete octet when you look at the shells here also all the orbitals are filled up next comes sodium we already did it Let, let's do it once more uh, yeah neon was uh, we just i just rubbed neon by mystic so 1s 2 and then we have 2s2 6 7 8 9 10 so let's move down to sodium so 1s2 2s2 and 2p 6 so that is 10 and we have 3s 1 so that is 11 electrons let's move on to magnesium 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 so magnesium aluminium 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 and 3p1 so 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So aluminum has an atomic number of 13. Let's move on to silicon. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and 3p2. Now let's move on to phosphorus. Phosphorus is 15, so 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and 3p3. Let's move on to sulfur. Sulfur is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, then 3p4. Let's move on to chlorine. Chlorine is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. Let's move on to argon. Argon is again another noble gas. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s. One second. I'll just rub it a little bit so we can write it clearly. So 2p6, then 3s2, 3p6. So argon has 18 electrons then comes potassium now what we can do in case of potassium we can use a shorthand method uh, this is uh, a method which uh, is a shorthand method method a way of writing electronic structure it becomes easier we don't have to keep on repeating the same argon again and again we can just use argon in the bracket just observe how i am writing it so when we come to potassium, what we can do is we can enclose we can enclose potassium uh, argon sorry in a bracket square bracket. So we can write down A R close the square bracket. So that means 18 electrons already there. So we have only 4 S 1. So this is the electronic configuration of potassium and it's much faster if we put that means argon again we can write argon means what 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 so that means what that's the atomic electronic configuration of argon plus 4s1 that becomes 19 let's move on to chlorine likewise what uh, sorry calcium likewise we can write down argon in the bracket and we can write down 4s2 so argon is 18 19 20 so this is the first 20 elements. I